Good evening and welcome to another engine run from the Winnebago RC Flyers Field in beautiful Rosendale, Wisconsin on this fantastic summer evening. It is the eve of the summer solstice and I have my fantastic Sato FA220A engine here for yet another run. Now previous runs were done in colder temperatures but I do have the same 20 by 8 prop, the same Sato P2 plug. This time I'm running some different fuel. Now it should look green, but there was a little bit of pink fuel still left in this tank, but this is Morgan's Cool Power 10% pure synthetic fuel. So the only thing I've done differently is different fuel, and I recall reading in the instruction manuals for this engine that it says every time you start it, open up the needle valve, you know, a turn and a half or two. And I believe that may be for priming reasons. I'm not entirely sure why, but I know the last time I ran this, I did not do that and I had difficulty getting it started or it wasn't priming right. So I have opened this needle valve uh, a turn and a half from the last position that it was set at when I ran it. So I'll have to do a little bit of retuning the top end, but that's fine because it'll be fun to do with this nitro, 10% nitro fuel. So let's just run this bad boy and see how she sounds. Slurping.
Okay, so that was a fantastic run. Now, the thing that I thought was really interesting about this run, and I'm not sure if there was something I was doing wrong or what, but as I said in the intro, I opened the needle valve for priming and starting per Sato's instructions. And right away when I was tuning it, it hit a really good peak of over 8,000 RPM. Um, but then after that, it didn't seem like you wanted to hit that same peak again. I, it, I don't know what happened. It wasn't, didn't feel like it was overheating to me because I was touching it and it wasn't scalding. I mean, it's warm, it's hot, it's up to operating temperature, but it wasn't really overheating. And I never heard it knocking. So I wasn't sure why it would never go back to 8,000 RPM again because I was turning the needle valve and peeking it out. And I was peeking it until I heard it start to drop and then I'd slowly try to open it. And it just seemed like it was kind of all over the place then. So, I mean, but the thing is powerful and it's got an incredible idle. It's almost more fun to just sit and listen to this thing idle than it is to try and make peak RPM with it anyway. So I was pretty pleased with that run and I hopefully you all watching will enjoy having seen this beautiful FA-220A running again. Thank you.